completely. It feels like it's thick, but it's totally fine. Just blend them first. And we are going to apply the no wipe top coat. Um, close the uh, cap of condensed glue gel, wipe the brush. No wipe top coat. The purpose of the no white top coat, we apply it on the top to, first of all, get it completely sealed and finished after we have the crystal placement. Second, it's gonna help grip the base of the crystal so tight, so it helps to anchor into the nails. And the third, you'll give a plenty of time for you to place with the crystal. So what I'm doing, I just finished is I like float it on just really feather touch on the top of condensed glue gel you don't want to do press it so hard because it's gonna kind of contaminate and it's gonna make your surface of the nails is so sticky after you cure so if you're doing it properly like you're flowing on the top it's not supposed to be sticky for you so i am gonna have oh this one is super cute hot right here i have the wax residue on my heart i am going to wipe it off in just a little bit Hey, something is on this wax. It's okay. I'm gonna pick up my. When you have the wax uh, crystal picker, we're gonna just pick it up. If you feel like yours doesn't stick just because probably I have some condensed glue gels or the top coat residue on the top of my tips of my uh, crystal picker. So all you need to do is just wipe it up and it will pick it up normally for you. I'm put red on the red. Looks super cute and stunning. And I have a little cute frame. So if you are first time like um, playing or beginners playing with the crystal and you're not sure what you are going to do with Valentine, you can uh, get the treasure box for Valentine theme or you can get the um, collectible mix bag for Valentine. That will sew your prime really easy and fast this is like i teal the nails down so it's like it's run for me because i teal it down really hard just gentle move it up okay it's, i have to see it flat like this i have to keep it flat hope everyone have a great uh friday we are busy on friday as usual Extremely busy. I'm collecting some of my uh, frame right here. Thank you so much for the love. Hey, Sophia, how are you? Little busy. Little bit. Sophia, how are you? All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. I'm using this frame. And place them to make like a red on red. It looks super cute, but I put the frame around with that uh, crimson shard it make it look stand out so much better so if you are not sure what you're gonna do with the valentine and it works with all different like season would have red you should check out the valentine collectible mix bag or also you can check it out with the valentine uh, treasure, treasure box. I think is a treasure box. Valentine theme. You will get pretty much just on like whatever a randomized of Valentine is gonna be ready in that box. 
but I don't know what it is. It's really exciting. I'm so thrilled to see whoever get the treasure box. Hello, Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're so excited today because there's going to be a lot of cool... Um, a lot of cool... <coughs> bless you. A lot of cool contents we're going to do tonight. So hope everyone have a great Friday. Are you really busy, Sophia? You should come to New York with me next time i'll check out the class in um the end of next month we're trying to work really hard in the team for the class to be ready all right so i'm gonna put that looks so cute when is the best way and the best um a lot of you will give me a question like, what, uh, how do I able to do the designs without not knowing any style? You can freestyle, but here's really tip and trick. If you want to do really nice crystal placement, make sure all your crystal are stay tight together. So it doesn't matter. You can puzzle them with different shape, but as long as you get them uh, really tight together, connecting together, that's how the crystal gonna looks really good and also it's gonna look is last longer as well and it's gonna looks really nice. I'm trying to keep it like that because I'm gonna put one more crystal on that one. It looks really good as I have um I have like whole tray right here and plus that this Mix bag I've been using a lot for past like so many a live video. What is a massive that how long it lasts? And I still have a ton of them. Great, so I'm gonna place. If you're happy with this, you pop this guy in the lamb into the lamb for about 60 seconds, and we are going back out with precision glow. It looks so stunning. Hey. Thank you, Jing Nguyen Hong. Hey, Lupita. Thank you so much. Hey, Mi Choi. So, right there in front. So, you're going to cure this for about 60 seconds. And then when it's done, we're going to get the um, precision glue. And we want to work with that. Okay, be careful. So, when you do, make sure the clans go flat. If, for instance, if that nails are thumb. Usually when the thumb clients gonna be tend to be place their hands in the lamb like this. So you make sure you do all four nail first and then you go back and use the thumb and have them do it flat like this. Because if you tilt like this, it's gonna make the crystal, you know, falling on the side. So you wanna have them keep for at least 10 seconds first. I said you make sure you keep it flat for me for 10 seconds or 15 seconds of flash here. And then you can put all the hand, tie the hands, and then have them rock back and forth. So therefore, it's gonna help all the big crystal will stay nice, and it completely cures all and tie from uh, side to side or on the bottom of the crystals. That how the tip and trick will keep your crystal stay nice in place without uh, popping up or catching anything, and just like all of a sudden it is pop off. Thank you, Jingyuan Hong. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so excited. Like if you're getting like um, this mix bag, Valentine, you'll never go wrong with this. I can do like at least like four or five nails out of this. Look at that. And let me get a piece of paper. Can I get a little bit of alcohol right there? I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to using a precision glue. This is in one of collection in Trifecta. And if you have a hard time or you are so tired, not want to do crystal placement because it keep popping off, you should check that one out. And this is in the pack like that. I've been sharing it so many. If you have to pick one, one choices for you to pick, try this 
to factor it, it come with condensed glue gel, no white top coat, precision glue, and then also you get one extra crystal jar. So it's really, really good investments for your money. And this is in here, but I that's a um, precision glue that I just shared with you. So I'm gonna go in using precision glue, and I'm gonna do kind of a little exam. Hold on, let me wipe this off so you can see how good shiny it is. And then we're gonna using precision glue. I'm gonna do a little exam, like kind of check it first. You're gonna make sure you check it first. And you feel like right here and feel scratchy right there. Somehow that maybe it didn't have enough of condensed glue gel. So do not panic, it's just like squeeze just a little bit. You don't squeeze it first. You're gonna try to check first. And then you're gonna blend it like this one, the big piece of a nice heart for Valentine. If some clients doing on thumbnails or big toes, great. But if they're doing it on the middle nails or the index fingers, we'll make sure you can like seal it. You can do it in any fingers except like a little pinky. It might be too um, small for this big heart. But I love this heart. They're huge. It's huge. But it's like really is good and stay on. I have this quite a few times on my thumb, my uh, middle fingers, and also it's my big toes. I love to wear this big piece. It's so sparkles. All right, so I'm gonna check in this gap right there. And it's, you only squeeze just a little bit. It's going a long way and it will automatically is blend in to wherever is needed in. So I think I feel, I feel them completely good. And now I'm using my twin tip brush, which is the one I'm using earlier with my condensed glue gel to pick it up condensed glue gel. I'm gonna just try to blend this. Just gentle blend this precision glue so then they will look nice without lumpy bumpy after you cure it. Great. Pop this in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And if you need to uh, do it again, you can after you cure for 60 seconds. Pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. So, So that we're gonna cure for about 60 seconds and then we are going to be done with that nails. So we can't wait to do with the next nails coming. Thank you so much, Miss Corina. Thank you, Lupita. Great. So we just finished this one, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be moving to the next one.